10 days from now, I'm going on a vacation and I want to look the best I've ever looked. So for the next 10 days, I'm going to be going on a mini shred and I'll be showing you guys everything that I'll do throughout the mini shred. I will be eating at 2,525 calories, 280 grams carbs, 205 grams protein, 65 grams of fat. Every day, I'm going to be doing 10 to 15,000 steps of walking and 200 to 400 calories extra burn per workout. So 100 before and 100 after. It's currently Tuesday and on the next Monday, I'll have one refi day at 3,000 calories. 3,000 is my caloric maintenance. I don't know, I just wanna give it a shot. I'm not very experienced with this but this is what I look like right now. I just got back from the gym, so I have a little bit of a back bump. I just did a back workout that you guys will see in a bit. Let me do a little, a little posing here. <clears throat> Starting off this workout with some cardio on the treadmill, just on an incline walk, little 100 calories. Back days, I start off with some lat pull downs because I love going all the way up with the stretch. I do four sets, 12 reps. Machine rows are next, four sets, eight to 10 reps as well, or eight to 12 reps. I go slow and I go for the squeeze. After that, we're doing some bar rollers. Like, God damn, look at my calves, bro. Looking insane. Yeah, I just kind of like yank it up and squeeze at the top. Finishing off with the lower back, because we want to go Christmas tree shopping by December, bro. I just do these weighted and I just kind of go fast up and kind of hold it at the top, that's it. This fucking machine, bro. This will burn the fuck out of your calories. Then, just some rows. Just just a little extra calories burnt. And a little back bump. I just got an interesting package with a lot of powders. So over here we have beta alanine. Actually, no, this is L-tyrosine. This is beta alanine. This is sour apple flavored powder. Here we've got dandelion extract, dandelion. And here we have another bag of dandelion. I don't know how to say it. Over here I have a little bag of alpha GPC. The reason I have all of these powders is because I want to try and make my own pre-workout. I've also ordered more stuff that should be coming in soon. Just a little fun thing I want to give a shot. And honestly, I'll let you guys know about the product that I make. And by the way, the dandelion extract I'll be using towards the end of this 10-day cut because it will dry you out It will make you lose a lot of water and that is what I'm going to be using it for It will be my first time using a diuretic So I'm excited to see what that'll look like It could be very interesting to see what it looks like on 300 grams of carbs using a diuretic and then losing all of that water I'm currently enjoying my dinner which consists of 75 grams rice one chicken breast and a can of lentils these are the macros for the meal. They're pretty decent, and honestly, it's a pretty filling bowl. Later tonight, I'm going to the movies, so I might have a snack there. That's why I'm kind of saving on calories throughout the day. I had a light breakfast, a light lunch, and now a pretty light dinner. So I have about 900 calories left for tonight, mainly carbs and some protein, but I'm pretty sure I'll fill that up. Also, I had a little packet of cottage cheese with my dinner. On to the next day, which is chest day. Starting off with some incline dumbbell press. I love starting off with this movement. Kind of going light, going fast, you know, warm up, first set. That's it. Now, before I hop into any pressing or pulling movements, I start off my workouts with some warm-ups for my rotator cuffs and my shoulders. With some dumbbells, just rotate a little bit, play with it a little bit, lateral raises, warm up your shoulders, and don't get injured. The next movement is incline barbell press. Just like the dumbbell press, I do three sets of eight to 12 reps. I focus on incline movements because I don't like how flat my upper chest is, so I'm trying to work on that. Here, I'm doing some incline machine flies. I love doing this movement a little bit, like slanted on the seat, because then I get a better contraction. Three sets of eight to 12 and focus on the squeeze. On my chest day, I also do some bicep work. So I go for some barbell curls, three sets of eight to 12 reps. Sometimes I like to go a little higher in reps just to bump the fuck out of my biceps and I'm looking veiny as shit in here. Holy fuck. That's, that's pretty sick. Here you can see me doing some hammer curls on an incline bench. My cameraman Noah zoomed in perfectly on my vein there looking juicy as fuck but these will burn the shit out of your biceps man really go for them and squeeze go for slow reps and just wrap them out bro three sets of like wrapping probably like 12 plus reps here we have some chest press machine and as you can see it like kind of moves different and you have a different grip which really lets you squeeze your pecs which i have trouble with on a regular flat barbell bench so I love doing this to finish up. Oh my, yo, what the fuck? I'm looking big as shit there. Nah, I usually don't do this in my workouts, but I decided to do some extra work on my lateral shoulders because they're kind of small. 
But this shit burns, bro. Look at my face. That shit burns. So my post-workout meal will be 75 grams of oats with 30 grams of protein powder mixed into it. I'll add a little bit of cinnamon as well because that shit is calorie-free anyway. Some stevia. Also, my daily supplement that I'll be taking twice a day will be ashwagandha, ecdysterone, and turkesterone. The measurements of what I take are over here, and I'm very blurred right now. I'm breaking out a little bit. I got fucking acne. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I've started vaping again, so maybe I'm breaking out because of that. Gotta quit it, but honestly, it's kind of like helping me stay focused on the right things. I don't really get distracted by bullshit, and I can just do my job and kind of, you know, reward myself with a little hit of nicotine every now and then when I'm working. I just had one of these little snacks, little drink snacks. Usually I don't drink my calories, but today I decided to get some of that in. Still have to go to the grocery store and do some protein shopping because I don't have that much. Currently uh, cooking up some cauliflower rice in the rice cooker. But something I've been noticing is when I go on walks, my kidney, this shit, like kinda hurts. Kinda, like it hurts really bad, bro. It's weird as fuck. It's maybe my current diet change because I went from keto to back to carbs and I'm in a deficit. So I don't know what it is, but taking things a little bit easy and if I notice that it's like really fucking me up, then can't go on walks because I don't want to fucking die. At the store, picking up some protein and some other stuff. Got a little piece of red meat in here and then some chicken below that. Yes, sir. What the f just got back from the walk, did some groceries, and listen to some good music. The playlist will be in the description, obviously. I'm about to have a little lean cookie. No fucking uh, drugs in this shit, but just 25 grams of protein, 200 calories, nice little snack before my dinner. I'm about to have some beef, and I cooked up some cauliflower rice. This is what I'm about to have for dinner, probably half and half, and then, you know, this is way too much. Oh my god, that shit's about to be fire. Cooking the rice in here, 75 grams, whole grain, 400 grams of cauliflower, I'm gonna be using 200 grams, 200 grams tomorrow morning in my oats. Cauliflower rice is a very good way to actually stretch or make the volume of your meal bigger. That way, you're more filled up. And honestly, cauliflower rice doesn't really have a taste. Whatever taste you give it with a protein powder or with oats because they already have a taste, it is just super good. And you guys will see that in tomorrow morning's meal. There you have it, 75 grams of rice. This is 75 grams of rice, that's insane. 200 grams of bavette and a total weight of 800 grams. That is definitely crazy volume, so I'm gonna enjoy that meal. I know I'm not supposed to put this bavette in here, but whatever, I can't do anything else with it. And then the cauliflower rice over here. So to finish off my day, I'm having 75 grams of Special K with 300 milliliters of protein Alpro protein milk. This shit is pretty fire and it's got a lot of protein in it. And to get my fats in, 30 grams of cashews, and that's actually perfectly fitting my macros, and that's how I'm gonna end the day. So uh, nothing special really, but uh, didn't get my steps in, but you know, it's whatever, not gonna have that every day. But I'm trying, I'm walking a lot, so that's it for today. I have an expensive ass machine, but that's how I make my coffee now. I like to do that myself, a little barista action over here. I don't know how to do it because this coffee is actually gonna whack. And I personally uh, like strong coffee. I didn't have a shit yet today, so I don't know what I uh, what I weigh in at, but it's probably not accurate because I didn't go to the toilet yet. So I really just don't have to. 19.6. Here's the breakfast. So what I did was I put 75 grams of oats, one scoop of protein powder, 30 grams. And then over here I have the cauliflower rice that I'll be putting in here for more volume. But first I'm gonna put hot water over here to obviously boil the oats. So this is what the bowl of oats would look like regularly. And this is what it looks like with the cauliflower rice. Obviously a lot more volume, so that's great. I just got this new pre-workout flavor in that I'm gonna be trying. Not sponsored, just genuinely like the product. So gonna be giving that a shot today for today's workout. Shoulders and triceps are on the program. And look at this, bro. Um, I gave away my rug, so I gotta find a new one. Kinda looks really minimalistic now. God damn, boy. Oh my God, I'm fucking aesthetic. I will be one of the most aesthetic people in the fitness industry, and that is because my genetics are very good and because my height genetics are top tier. I mean, I'm at fucking 14% body fat and I'm already looking fucking peeled on the sides. Look at that shit, bro. What the fuck? 
These are the macros for my pre-workout shake, 150 grams of raspberry, and a little bit of protein milk. Shoulder day, starting off with some dumbbell press. Obviously, you start off by warming up your rotator cuffs because we don't want to get injured, and you already know that. Up next, we're doing some upright rows, superset it with some lateral raises. This will burn your shoulders out, and I love doing this combination. So for the front delts, I just do some dumbbell raises to the front. I don't know what the, what they're called, but I do these. And then I superset them with the barbell as well to really burn them out. My front delts are not that big, so I'm trying to like superset them and really burn them out and grow them more. All my things I do are basically three sets of 8 to 12 reps. So here I do some tricep extension for my triceps. Up next are the rear delts. I use a machine for this. I go slow and I squeeze when I'm all the way at the back, kind of hold it. I like to finish off with some tricep pushdowns or some dips. Same movement, just seated or free weight. But I like doing this because it also targets your chest and you leave with a nice little chest bump. Rice crackers and some hummus, 100 grams, not 200. This is 200, I'm gonna take half with a little spoon and then later I'm gonna have this protein cookie as well. But for now, this is gonna be my post-workout meal. I'll have about 1,000 calories left for the rest of the day. Fucking bicep vein is very prominent today. I'm trying to work on my front delts because them shits are small, but my like rear delts fucking huge. And my front delt is like, doesn't exist for some reason. My side delts kind of coming through a little bit. Simple as dinner, bro. 75 grams of rice. And I still have that steak from yesterday that I'm warming up a little bit. 150 grams steak, 75 grams rice. I don't have greens right now, so not having that extra volume, but I'll pick them up tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be any problem but I usually have some greens with it to kind of fill me up. Never mind, I added a can of lentils that will definitely fill it up a little better. And in lentils, there's a lot of fiber and some carbs. Actually, I'm 10 grams over my carbs, but trying to stay within like 20 grams of reach within my protein and carbs. Obviously, fats I'm trying to narrow down because they're way more heavy in calories. I'm gonna have half of it now, go for a walk, and half of it later today because I wanna space out the carbs a little bit, not have everything right now. Still have something at the end of the day. Beautiful. Look at, look at, the, oh my god, that's still so good from yesterday. Still got some in there, and that's fucking dirty. But I'm gonna enjoy the fuck out of this meal, boy. I still had this rice and this lentil left, and I put some tuna in there. That will be pretty much finishing up my diet for the day. I'm gonna have something later tonight, and I'll show you guys as well. But I didn't get my steps in today. Yesterday and the three days before, I did go over 10,000, so that's pretty nice. But today I stayed under 2,000, so that's not so nice, but not every day is gonna be a big step day. I was working all day, super busy day, and honestly, I'm kind of uh, hungry still. So hopefully this meal will uh, satisfy me. Listen up, man. This diet is doing its weird, weird thing in weird ways, bro. I was not able to sleep last night until four, and then I woke up at 11.30 today, but I'm having a feeling I might wake up and weigh myself now because I just had a shit, and I might weigh myself in at less than 90 kg, so let's see. All right, well, that's definitely not the case, but maybe after I take dandelion root, then I might weigh in at less than 90 because it'll shred a lot of water. Hey, man, y'all gotta watch the, to the end of the video because I'm not trying to show y'all too much. The end of the video will be the results of this cut. Let's go get this day started. Already have my coffee. Damn, yo. Dogs look as try ate it. Let's go. All right, guys. Uh, coffee time. Then I'm gonna have some oatmeal a little later. You guys will see. And then we're going into the gym. Maybe do a little leg day. Maybe do, yeah, probably do leg day, bro. I just got my pre-workout powders in. So here we have a dessert protein mix. Here we have taurine, citrulline malate, uh, all arginine, and we've got cinnamon extract powder that I just wanted to try out. Then we here have DMAE powder and some more cinnamon extract. Combined with the other things that I got from the other website that I ordered from that are in here, I will be able to make my own pre-workout. And I just finished a tub of Gorilla Mine. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Y'all saw that? Oh my god, bruh. <sighs> well, this is where I'm gonna be putting my pre-workout in. I'm gonna have to make some sort of a formula, which is gonna be interesting. And this is my breakfast. Some oats, cinnamon in there, and, and three scoops of protein, so 30 grams. Pretty much my go-to breakfast every day. And this is going to be my pre-workout meal because it's already 1.30 p.m. Breakfast, well, a little late, but 
got some carbs in for the workout. Let's uh, let's uh, go, guys. I made my own pre-workout today, so I use tyrosine one gram, beta alanine three grams, citrulline malate six grams, alpha GPC 0.5 gram, half a gram of sour apple for the flavor, and three grams of L-arginine. And that'll do it for the pre-workout. This is my customer. I feel it very good, man. My eyes, like, everything is tingling, you know. It's like, good shit, man. You, you got more? I also don't have caffeine powder, so I'm using pure caffeine tablets, 200 milligrams for the stimulant. So I started off with some squats. After that, I did some leg press. I did not record these, but here you can see me doing some leg extension. I love doing the leg extension to focus on the front of your legs. And after that, I did some calves to finish up the workout. The workout was not that great. I wasn't really feeling good. That was honestly the worst workout I've ever had. I only did squats in the beginning. Then I did some leg press and some Smith machine split squats. Didn't even film the leg press or Smith squats. But after that, I did some leg extensions. I finished it off with some calves. Now tonight, I'm gonna be training as well. I'm gonna be doing some deadlifts with a girlfriend of mine. So uh, this looks pretty good. So I'm not sponsored, but this is what I ordered from Bulk. It's a protein dessert mix. You add 40 grams of this product, then 150 milliliters of water, and then put it in the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes. And it's like a pudding, so. I'm gonna have that post-workout. The macros on this are pretty fire. It's 30 grams of protein, 3.4 grams of carbs, 1.7 of which is sugars, and 1.5 grams of fat. Look at that, 250 grams of chicken, 75 grams of whole grain rice. That will be my pre-workout meal for tonight's workout, I guess. I still have a lot of calories left and I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a little groggy. I'm not in the best mood today. I also had a shitty workout earlier today, so gonna be enjoying this meal. Very happy to have this good food. That's all I can say, and I'm gonna enjoy that, man. I, I'm always enjoying my meals. So the late night workout was just some deadlifts and hamstring work. Here you can see me doing 130 kilograms. I think I did like 10 or 12 reps. I don't know, I just repped it out. Felt pretty nice. I think the meal I had before this workout was also helping. Here I'm doing some stiff leg deadlifts. I love to stand on a plate to get even more of a stretch in, in my hamstrings, explosive up, slow down, really always feel this in my hamstrings that was a pretty decent deadlift session did some hamstrings as well and what you just saw that is going to be my meal i still have a thousand calories left so i'm having some cereal post-workout resupply the glycogen tomorrow i'm going rock climbing that should be a very interesting day i'm excited to go show you guys that and without further ado i'm starving and i'm low energy bro i can't even cap I'm whipping up an experimental meal. This is what I'm gonna turn into a meal. I love fitting in my macros at the end of the day. So currently it's 50 grams of oats, a little bit of milk and a protein bar. I'm gonna be turning that into a pancake. I'm gonna chop up the protein bar and that actually fits my macros near perfectly. I'm very happy to uh, fit that in at the end of the day. I just had some breakfast as well at night. I mean, just some uh, special gay. That wraps it up for today. So I'll show you guys what this is going to look like right now. I'm just letting the oats sit for a little bit. Dude, what? This is literally insane, bro. This looks so good. This looks so good. Dieting doesn't have to be boring, bro. Just be creative with it. That's, that's calorie-free syrup on there, by the way. Nothing crazy. Raspberry syrup and then some fucking big pieces of chocolate syrup. I have these for my protein. I'm not sponsored, but honestly, the raspberry one is really good and not really toxic. 90.1. That's what I weighed in at this morning. So almost below 90. That's pretty insane. Pretty sure tomorrow I'll wake up below 90. And I'm also going to be taking dandelion root today. So eight days, uh, six days for my vacation. So six more days of this diet. And then I'll, uh, I'll be at my goal, hopefully. So here I have the dandelion root. I'm going to be taking like two grams a day. Actually, I do know how it works. Like makes you piss a lot and you lose a lot of water. So I'm just going to slowly introduce it and definitely look up more videos and articles about it before i go crazy with it because obviously i don't want to die and shit like that's just not cool and right here i have my coffee i did weigh in today before before um taking shit and i i kind of have to right now so i'll be below 90. i slept so deep i slept at 2 a.m and i woke up at 11 and i had the deepest sleep ever
300 grams of chicken, 400 grams of broccoli, 75 grams of rice. There's still some left in here. Didn't fit on the plate and I don't mind finishing a little later. That will be my dinner. I'm having it with some coffee over here. Black coffee with actually a little bit of froth milk. Froth, it's supposed to be frothed, but I can't do that shit because I don't know how to. I have to figure it out. That's going to be my breakfast. A little protein pancakes. I'm very happy with the result. Looks pretty good and they're pretty sturdy. And I got a little cute one on top. Dude, what the fuck? I have just introduced dandelion extract and that shit is actually like insane. I'm peeing so much and I'm drying out a lot. I can't wait to show you guys the results. Today was supposed to be a full body workout on a Sunday, but honestly, I'm taking off today. I'm just going for a bigger walk today and call it a day because honestly, I don't feel like going for a full body workout right now and I don't mind an extra day rest day because yesterday I also had a rest day. Usually I have a rest day, workout, rest day, but now I'm gonna just take two rest days in a row and then tomorrow I'm gonna work out again. I know I'm a fucking bitch for doing that, but... Dinner. This doesn't look like steak, but there's two pieces of steak and 75 grams of rice. A Pepsi Max, a lemon. Love this meal. I love just having rice and beef, man. And I put some onion in there and some minced garlic or whatever this is. I don't know if this is minced garlic, but garlic puree. Getting my daily steps in. Listening to some Earl Nightingale. Very motivational, very teaching. And honestly, it's pretty beautiful out here. Earlier I ate some of these wraps, three tortilla wraps with a bit of spinach. And I also had 50 grams of chicken in there from yesterday that I still had. So three wraps, just a little meal. And right now I'm making some oats over here, 50 grams, no regular oats, but they're blended already. And some cauliflower rice as a late night snack. <clears throat> Adding the cauliflower rice to the oats for volume. And I just blended a lot of shit in here, like this raspberry syrup, some stevia sweetener, some cinnamon powder extract, and a little bit of peanut butter powder. Oh shit. Yo. It's about the snack in the microwave. This whole tub, literally fucking huge, is only like 300 calories probably. That'll be my last meal for the day. Then I'm gonna have my dandelion root, turkesterone, agdesterone, methamphetamines. Just kidding, don't do that. And then it's time for some anabolic sleep. Here's my little meal. I got an omelet and a little wrap on top with some rice cakes over here. Post-workout. So I'm gonna admit it, I have not been recording that much because everything is pretty much the same. My workout today was very weak, or actually wasn't really feeling the workout, but goddamn, I'm leaning out. You can see it in my face, like striations in my face, like lines and shit. But anyway, I just made some pancakes, pretty fire mix over here. I put some peanut butter uh, powder and some calorie free syrup. I mixed that up with a little bit of chocolate sprinkles in there, a stack of pancakes, protein pancakes, and this is how I, uh, how I eat it. So today is Monday and I think I'm gonna have a little carb not too much, maybe just 100 or 200 calories over what I usually have. And then tomorrow I should have a fantastic workout. That should be my last crazy, like full workout before I um, finish these 10 days because it's, it's only five days left. So to, today would be a refeed. Then tomorrow I have a crazy glycogen restored workout. And then after that, three more days of leaning out, that should be fire. I woke up at 89.5 kg today, which is the first time I've ever been below 90. That's my morning coffee right there. I weighed in 88.7 kilograms, 88.7. That means I already lost two or three kilograms or some shit. That's insane. Here we go, it's, it's currently nighttime and I made three wraps with some spinach and some steak in there. 300 grams of steak, 120 grams of wraps. 
and then like 100 grams of spinach maybe. Honestly, I have not been recording today's workout or really anything I've been doing, but that's because I've not been feeling too good. I'm definitely kind of sick of doing being on this cut. Nearing the end though, three more days. So it's been seven days now. I'm uh, feeling fucking empty. My workouts are not like what they used to be. Not feeling very energetic and um, I've hit a very low weight. I'm 88.7 kg or something. So that's fucking low. That's really fucking low. And I'm just ready to go bulk again. And I'm so excited to go bulk because I want to reach 100 kg lean at my size at 6'7". Like being 220 pounds, that would look sick, especially proportionally distributed, like aesthetically pleasing and shit. Like that would be insane. But I'm about to enjoy my meal and hopefully I feel a little better after that. Something to note because I'm taking dandelion root and currently it's like three days later or two days later from the last clip. Nothing much happened. I just uh, stick to the same boring diet. But something to note is that when I'm taking dandelion root, you piss a lot and I don't really take care of my water intake. Usually it's just like three to five liters a day, but maybe. I should update a little bit and really take care of me getting enough water in. So got to take care of that because, oh god damn, look at this shirt by the way. Shout out Danny Duncan. But anyway, um, I feel like I'm looking pretty good, but not too lean or whatever. Maybe I'll wake up a little leaner today. Ugh, I might have had a little cheat yesterday with some vodka and some uh, candy but not, nothing like crazy over the top and right there i have some mac and cheese actually yeah mac and cheese with chicken i'm tired of doing this cut i'm fucking tired of doing this cut but i'm sticking to it i'm not going over my calories too much going on vacation tomorrow so i'm excited to go on a vacation enjoy my vacation and i'll show you guys the results of what i look like tomorrow that is the plate, some mac and cheese, extra cheese on top with some ketchup and some pieces of chicken in there as well. Shredded them up a little bit. So I'm on a late night walk, getting some extra steps in today. And this will be my last night in my city because I'll be going to my mom's place tomorrow and then tomorrow night until in two days in the morning, that's when we leave. So I'll be ending this video tomorrow with a check-in. Hopefully uh, I'll look better than when I started. It's definitely a cool experience because this, this is the first time I've attempted a cut with a diuretic dandelion root. So something that I have learned is that I'm excited to go on a bulk again. And when I'm taking a diuretic or something like a natural diuretic, like nothing hardcore, but I have to drink way more because that actually affected my mood and my workouts. So when I'm peeing a lot, obviously I lose a lot of water weight and not really muscles but i have to resupply that water and i have to take way more care of it than than i normally would hope you guys enjoyed this video so far it was a little um lacking towards the end because it was all the same you know and my workouts were not on point because i wasn't feeling too well and i found out it was the water intake guys that's the result of the last day i'm pretty happy looking dry looking lean and uh lost a lot of weight on this journey so if you guys enjoyed the 10 day cut and you know what to do and if you want to give it a shot yourself then just eat like uh, a little below your calories maybe try a dandelion root if you want to dry out your water but make sure you drink enough water when doing so i'm happy with the results it was tough i learned a lot but overall, I'm looking the best I've ever looked. Especially when I angle it like this, god damn, boy. Yeah, this is a pretty aesthetic angle. I don't have the smallest waist, but when I like angle it a little bit like this, it'll come through. I still have like a lot of fat on my hips. This is the last fat that'll go, but I'm lucky to have a uh, 
pretty lean midsection and the obliques come through pretty well. This is uh, without a bump, I just woke up by the way, so. I don't know what my back looks like right now, but. I don't, I feel like this part over here in my back is like not that wide. It makes my arms look weird. And I gotta get rid of this shit, it's like a fat bulge or whatever. I can probably get rid of that with some surgery. But yeah guys, that's it. That's it for the 10 days. Nine days actually, well 10 days, today's the last day. I'm not giving up, but yeah. Gotta edit this video and uh, prepare for my vacation. Peace.